In this video, I'm gonna be speaking for myself and for a lot of other black men who have experienced what I have experienced. This video is gonna shock you when I tell you where I have experienced the most racism. You know, growing up in Kentucky, I have experienced racism all my life, whether it be in schools, whether it be while eating out, whether it be while shopping, whether it be while driving and dealing with these police, right? And before I get into this video, you know, I always say all white people are not racist. But the ones that are, gotta be dealt with. Now, for me as a young man coming up, I have dealt with some of the nastiest racist people ever in my life. Not out here in the free world. It's been when I'm trying to provide for my family. It's been when I'm trying to provide for me and do the right thing and be an upstanding citizen. The most racism is on the job for the black man that is. You know, when you out here working and you finally become an age, you realize this is why a lot of young black boys don't want to work. It's not that they don't want to work a job. It's not that they, they weak minded, right? Right, which a lot of them are, right? But the reason why I said, you know what, it's time for me to start my own business. It's because every time, right, that I went to these factory jobs, that I went to, you know, whatever job it is, and I, not all of them, but a lot of them, I have encountered these racist white men who are intimidated by a young, intelligent, hardworking man. You know, when I'm on the job, you know, I'm very competitive, right? You know, I take the same energy that I took off the, off the basketball court or the football field, and I take it into the workplace, meaning what? Uh, I'm gonna show up to work every day. I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna do what I'm told, right? Uh, I'm gonna work overtime. Yeah, I wanna be a standout employee because when I go to work, my mentality is I'm not just working uh, a factory job. You know, I wanna move up and be team leader. And then after team leader, I wanna be general, general, I mean manager. Then I wanna be GM and so on and so on and so on. This is the way I think, right? So when you get a person, a young man like me on the job, you would think they would love you. You would think they would want you to be a part of the team. Cause this guy here is a hard worker. This guy here is a trustworthy person. This guy here, we can call on this person. If we need him to work overtime, he here. If we need him to come in on Saturday when he's off, he's here. If we need him to stay an hour or two hours over until somebody else come in, he's here. But what I have experienced is, right, a lot of these racist white men, right, they are intimidating. They are intimidating. Don't go to this job looking good, looking good, feeling good, and you strong, and you healthy and you work hard, they gonna get you out of her, right? When strong men, black men come to these jobs, right? Young, ready to work, this is what happens to them. Uh, I wanna give you guys a story on when I was working a factory job. I was a young, young man working at a place where we stack tires. And I'm new, so on this particular day, I stacked the tires wrong on the pallet. When I stacked the tires wrong on the pallet, the uh, the manager was seeing me doing it. Instead of him coming over and saying, hey man, you stacking the tires wrong. He comes over and pushes the whole pallet over. Pushes the whole, yeah, like 50 tires. Push the whole pallet over, step to me, and yelled at me and said, you doing it wrong in front of the big boss. This is in front of the big boss. So not only did he disrespect me, not only did he try to belittle me as a man, right? But he acted, he acted as if he was gonna put his hands on me 
because I stacked the tires wrong. I done nothing wrong. I'm new, right? I'm just working. I'm just trying to get the job done. <laughs> Instead of him coming as a man and say, hey, Terrence, uh, you stacking these wrong. Uh, you're going to have to take it down and do it over. He pushed him over as if you're going to push all my hard work over and then make me pick all the tires up and do it again in front of you like a slave. When he did that, I lost my cool. I went crazy. Yeah, I almost killed him in there. Right? In front of the big boss. Now, instead of the big boss taking my side and seeing what this racist white boy tried to do to me, they fired me. They fired me. I'm way stronger than this than this white boy. I work harder. Yeah. I'm way more intelligent. I get way more done. Dude, I already been there for a few years. I'm out working him. They fire me. Why would, why, why would you fire me when you see what this man did? That's only that's only one occasion of, 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 of 10 and 20 occasions that I have dealt with on jobs. Right? Like, what I understand, when these white boys can't dominate you on the job, it's an issue. When they can't talk to you on the job and do you any type of way, right? On the job, it's an issue. When, when you're when you not weak on the job, it's an issue. It's an issue. And that's what I understand. A lot of these black men who are going into these jobs, you know, I'm going to be out with 100, they weak. A lot of them, a lot of them going to these jobs with, you know, uh, trying to provide for their families and they got felonies and, and, and all this other stuff going on. A ton of kids and you know what I'm saying? So they pretty much got to go in there and deal with these racist people talking to them any type of way. Trying to treat them any kind of way. See how I run my business? We're going to run it like this. I'm your boss, but we man first, which means I'm going to show you respect at all times. Whether you make a mistake, whether you're doing something that I don't like, I'm going to show you respect at all times. That's number one. We men. We grown men. Ain't none of us no kids. Don't talk to me like a kid. And the issue and the issue is a lot of these racist white boys on these jobs, right? I haven't dealt with it from uh, white women. So I'm just saying from the man's point of view, a lot of these racist white men, they can't listen, man. They can't take you coming in there looking super strong. Look, no stomach. Look, no, no, no stomach. In shape, looking good, ready to work hard. All the women love you, right? The women talk about you all day. Yeah, they rocking with you. And you outworking everybody. And they fear because they know you're going to take their job. Yeah, this is, this is my experience. Right. Where I have dealt with it the most, you know, I haven't dealt with a lot of racism uh, from the police. Right. I haven't dealt with a lot of racism, uh, uh, you know, while being in restaurants, which I have dealt with it. But I'm saying the most has been in the workplace. That, that's that's where the, that's where the, the most racist white boys are at. They are in a workplace. And when you go in there, they're going to try to do you any type of way. They're going to try to talk to you any type of way. Right? And that's because, like I said, they don't want you there. You would think that they want somebody to work hard, somebody they can depend on. But what I have realized time and time again, job and job again, they don't want you in there. And this is why as black men, right, we got to get back to when we are creating our own jobs, where we are uh, getting union jobs, uh, where we are learning trades, right? We got we to gotta start back working with these. I'm going to talk about that in another video. But seriously, guys, man, um, it'd it be crazy, man, the way them people try to do you, man. It'd be crazy, man, the way these people try to do you on these jobs when you out here really trying to do the right thing. And this is why a lot of young boys, a lot of young black boys, they say, you know what? Before I put up with that and before I got to kill one of these motherfuckers on these jobs, I'm just going to go uh, sell dope. Right? That's what I did. Because cause I, I, I got tired of putting up with it. Right? I got tired of putting up with uh, trying to do the right thing uh, and then it's failing on that end. 
because these racist white boys, they fire me, they're kicking with me, right? And then ultimately it's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and leave before, before I have to do something to these people. And this is what's going on. So y'all drop y'all comment, y'all let me know where y'all experience the most racism, right? And uh, let's chop it up. Let's get it.